Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick little video on what's to come this week. So choose from either poll A, B or C to receive your message for your week. So starting with poll A. So what I can see this week is I feel like you're going to have some dealings with a male figure in your life. This could be a father or this could be a lover or this could just be some, someone from your past. Specifically here and it's going to be a man that may be a little bit cut off. Um, or he may say things without kind of thinking um, and it may make you feel emotional um, or you might be releasing some stuff to do with someone that just hasn't treated you very well so you might be up in your like feelings at this moment but I am seeing that um, there's going to be something highlighted in your dreams this week so pay attention to your dreams um, and also any kind of synchronicities so any um, repetitive numbers, especially like 333, 444, 666 and 8, 88, yeah, 88, um, they're going to be key this week. Um, yeah, note down what comes up in your dreams. You might even have a dream to do with this male figure here. Um, yeah, something's definitely going to happen with a male figure this week. Um, it could be someone from the past coming back. It could be someone's words kind of replaying in your mind. It could be someone saying something without thinking. Some of you might be going through um, hearing some legal disputes, but that will actually end out okay, um, end up okay. And I am hearing for some of you, if a boss um, isn't treating you very well, then you need to stand up for yourself and have boundaries and just don't take their crap. Um, and I am hearing that if you've been getting kind of um, like a gut feeling about something or someone, then your intuition is correct about this. Um, there's a strong need to cleanse your aura field. So if you can get some sage or um, just get in the shower and visualize a white kind of light going over all your aura and visualize the water cleansing your aura just to kind of get everyone else's energy out of your own. Um, it would be good for you to look into a chakra cleanse meditation, um, you literally just YouTube it and that will make you feel um, more grounded and steady within yourself. Um, seeing if I can get anything else. I feel like with this cup there's going to be like an opening, um, an outpour of something happening. This could be to do with emotions, you could be finding something out. Um, someone could be expressing to you how they feel and like the lid's been on their emotions for such a long time that when it comes through this is for some of you not all of you when this comes through you're going to be shocked and actually it might be you that goes into this energy so someone may come forward to you express how they feel and you're going to need some form of a be open and receptive but um, you know don't be a doormat um, <laughs> is what I'm hearing, um, that's a bit of a blunt message, but yeah, um, be open and receptive to what comes through this week, listen with an open heart, a kind and compassionate heart, but don't take no shit, and yeah, so that was your messages for group A, I'm going to move on to group B now, so this is my work pile, so what I'm hearing for you guys this week, what will happen, there's something going to happen with work. Um, you may be earning some sort of an income this week. You might have, someone may give you money, you may receive some money. Something You might start something new in work, you might get a promotion. Something to do with work is heavily highlighted here. So if you've been working on something or even working on yourself, carry on doing this because... Um, all the effort you've been putting out in that, uh, all the effort you've been putting in towards what you're working on will bear fruit in the future. So spirit is like giving you like an energetic high five and a well done. Um, there is a need to monitor your finance though and your spending habits and your routine, especially this week. Um, yeah, I'm just hearing that money's going to come in. Or there's going to be something surrounding money this week. Nothing bad. Um, either you're going to be receiving it or maybe you're asked to give it to someone. Maybe you could help someone out. Um, if, you're fortunate, uh, uh, if you're fortunate enough to help someone out, 
you know, maybe buy a random stranger a cup of coffee or, I don't know, a sandwich or something like that if you're fortunate enough to do that. Or maybe someone um, will be helping you out in some regard. Um, I am seeing that if one of you have been having like a conflict at work, that is going to be resolved this week. Um, it was just a bit of a misunderstanding. And yeah, focus on your work, focus on yourself, focus on um, building a positive, bright future for yourself. Um, I'm also here in to work on yourself right now, especially in this week. Um, when you when you work on yourself and you work on how you feel about yourself, everything else within your um, life will shift to do with finance and how you feel about yourself and others and just all of your world will shift when you start working on yourself. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it for you guys. <laughs> that one was quite short, but uh, pick another pile if you want more, um, like want to know what else is going to happen in your week. So I'm going to move on to group C. So what I can see happening for you this week, I feel like you're at a bit of a crossroads and um, you might be feeling quite confused. Something may have happened recently and you just feel a little bit blocked and like you don't, you're at a crossroads and it's like you're in two minds and you're not knowing what decision to make or what's going to be right for you. But what I'm hearing is, if you don't make a decision, the decision's going to be made for you. Um, you know, making not making a decision is essentially a decision. So there's a need to um, drop into your intuition and into your heart center and feel into whatever it is that you're trying to do or you're conflicted about. Drop into your heart and listen to your body. How does it, when you think about this decision, whatever decision you need to make, how does your body actually feel? Does it tighten? Does it make you feel sick? Does it give you a headache? Or does it make you feel relaxed and happy? What you know, work out, is it giving you anxiety in an unhealthy sense or anxiety because you're excited? Work that out, drop into your heart and your emotions and how you feel. But you know, don't let that consume you. Because what I'm seeing here is you're in your head too much and there's all these emotions, it's all this water surrounding you. And, and there's like this moon energy, so things are hidden right now and there's certain things going on that you can't see that is going to, you know, come out into light. But you need to listen to your intuition, you need to listen to your heart, you need to let that guide you. Don't let fear be your guide. Don't let the past, you know, push you into a mindset that isn't, you know... For your highest good the past is done what's what matters now is the present moment and if you focus on the present moment if you get tuned into your own intuition and how you feel about this particular thing in your life you're going to be able to manifest something if you get out of this energy this week there's going to be like a wish granted but it's more like something you've been hoping for will bear fruit something you've been wanting oh my god i don't know if you just see that an orb just um came across the screen oh I love it. Yeah, so you've got angelic guidance surrounding you and supporting you in this decision that you have to make. And they're trying to tell you that you are powerful and you can manifest this life you desire in this week. Something can come to you this week that you have been wanting so much, but you have to get out of this energy. You need to make a decision. Once you have made that decision, trust you have made the right decision. But drop into your intuition, drop into your heart space to truly know what it is that you want. Release your ego and your shadows and your fears surrounding this person or this situation or whatever it is this week. You can manifest the life that you want. These struggles will be like it was just yesterday and a new day is dawning with, you know, powerful, amazing things to happen. You are guided, you are protected at this moment. Don't think that you're not. Things are going to get better, but, you know, if we want to create change in our life, we've got to, you know change our life don't we change only happens when we create the change if we carry on doing the same things we're going to get the same outcomes so yeah guys that was your reading um yeah so that is what's going to happen for you this week um if you did want a personal reading or anything do uh, privately message me and have a lovely day guys bye bye